John Drew here from My Expressions. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video, I will be featuring my Pandora necklace collection. That is correct. It's going to be featuring my entire Pandora necklace collection. Um, once again, I do these collection videos about once a year. And uh, for the month of April, it's the necklaces. Um, so I hope it's not too long. You know what, before we get started, let's go ahead and <laughs> do my timer, as always, because then I go long and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do for at least 22 minutes, and then I'll know once my timer goes off, that's about been 20 minutes or 25 minutes or whatever. So, um, I'm not going to go in any particular order, so I might just, yeah, I'm just going to go random. I don't really think I have a specific order. We'll start with the choker. Um, and again, this is going to comprise of necklaces and pendants. So, necklace chains with pendants and pendants by themselves, you know, combinations of both, etc., etc. <laughs> so, I'm starting off with the choker, which I haven't been wearing as much. I mean, I have worn it quite a bit, actually. But lately, I have not worn it um, very much. Um, again, I just forget. I don't know why, you guys. Every time there's something like this, I always like to, like play with it. I like to do that. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is still current. Is it still? I think it's still available. I don't think it's been retired yet. Um, I don't know why I have this like desire to push these together like this. I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just like, ah. it's kind of like when you get that, um, it's called the, uh, what's it called? Oh gosh. What are those little bubble, the bubble wrap? You just kind of want to pop it. It's kind of like the same I like to squish it together. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> so we have my choker, which I actually like wearing plain. Although I have worn um, pendants off of it before. Next, we're going to go to my cluster pendants, which I have not worn actually in a bit. I used to wear this. It was a favorite it's a couple months back, but I haven't really worn it that much lately. Um... And this is the this little dangle symbols that Pandora had. I really wish they still, they were still around. I really like them a lot. And I like to wear them separate. I mean, not separate, together. Like this. I know you really can't tell what they are, but I know what they are, and that's what matters to me. And they don't necessarily have meaning, all of them. Um, the key is just, I just like keys. I think it's cute. You know, I like the fact that it's got a little heart thing on top. The hearts, just because, of, I, you know, guys know I like my hearts, which I wish I could showcase better. Uh, yep. Oh, and this is the rose gold. Yeah, this is the rose gold heart. I just figured it'd be kind of nice to have something different with all the silver and then the one rose for contrast. I don't know if you guys can tell because the lighting's kind of off, but it is rose gold. If I did that, you guys can see the difference in color. And then I have, oh, gosh, these are kind of hard on the handle. Um, the dove, and this is to symbolize my uh, spirituality, I guess. My faith. Okay. And then I have my stars, because you all know I love my stars. Right, and then... I love angels as well, so I have a little angel wing, which well, she would focus. So I guess maybe it would look better if I just wore three at once, right? Could that be? About, yeah, we probably people could probably see better what that is if I just did that versus all five because this just becomes a a jumble. But it doesn't matter because I I just like wearing them all because it's just, you know it's kind of like me. You know, facets of me. So I like that. But I've really been wearing many necklaces, honestly, so that's probably why I haven't been wearing this at all. Uh, what else? Well, kind of sticking with that same symbol. Symbol, charms, dangles, whatever. We come with one of the first um, Pandora key necklaces that they came out with. Now, the new Regal Key, I do want that. I do want that so bad. So badly, I really like it a lot. <laughs> um, and yeah, redundancy. I don't care. 
probably not. Probably just put them all together one big key thing. Um, but yeah, we have the, I forget what it's called, but this is the first one they came out with. I really like a lot. I like the size. I like that it's like, you know, it's like a little key. It's so cool. Like you could actually like, you know, pretend it's a real key. <laughs> and then just to kind of add some color and depth, I added the rose. So you got a little key and a big key. So again, I just, I like keys. I think they're cool. I used to like collect keys when I was little. I even made a like a wind chime out of keys before. If you guys ever noticed, if you get keys, like different types of keys, if you have like a dr junk drawer and you get all your keys and you kind of string them on a chain, you actually get a nice like jingling, chimey sound from it. So I used to have, I made one a long time ago. I think my mom kept it somewhere. <laughs> but there's that. Uh, and if you guys want names, I don't know the names. I honestly don't remember the names, so I apologize. You can always um, write me a comment down below and specify which one you're looking for, and I can probably answer your question that way. Um, this is Badly Dirty. I wore it in February a lot. Um, it was dirty then, and I still haven't cleaned it. <laughs> I still plan on doing like a cleaning video for you guys. And I had a Q&A, like I had a Q&A planned, like from like literally last year. And I saved all the questions and I still haven't bothered to answer them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one remembers who wrote what. It's kind of embarrassing, so it's, so it's okay. I'll still like answer the questions. <laughs> but no one's going to remember what questions they asked. They can be like, oh, what? I asked, I asked the question, really? Yeah, you did. Oh, I have proof. I took screenshots. <laughs> um... So yeah, this is a Be My Valentine in pink with the large and the small. And I've always liked the like um, the two heart theme because I always see that it's like one heart for me, one for my husband. So I like that. I really like the way this looks together. It's really cute, you know. I it, I didn't layer as well as I'd like it to. Sometimes I think what happens is the big heart hides the little heart. Like that, which bothers me. <laughs> but the symbolism is what counts to me. Um, so I wish it did that. So I, I wonder if there's a way. I could, maybe if I put a little spacer in between them, maybe it'll like actually work better. I don't know. Maybe it'll work worse. I'm not sure. But anyways, I brought the Q&A back uh, up because what I had initially meant to do was to take a video of me like cleaning my jewelry. Um, while in the audio, I would be answering um, questions or doing like a story time. Again, this was a long time ago. It's one of those videos that I just have on my to-do list that I just haven't gone around to. Um, and you guys had actually voted for story time. So for me to kind of tell a story while I clean my jewelry and um, also a Q&A. So yeah, I know no, one's, no one knows what I'm talking about. I totally understand that. <laughs> it's my fault for taking forever to um, get to those videos, you know? And we have the Light as a Feather pendant. And most of you are probably wondering why I have it attached to the bottom. No, I don't wear it upside down. <laughs> I have worn it the right way before, like this. Um, I do need to clean this as well. It's a little bit, it's getting a little bit, ugh. So what I did, gosh, this is so dirty too cotton thread what I did is a long time ago I I, um, I bought a Pandora like those cotton threads you know like the lariats and I cut off the ends okay because I have several of them I didn't care so I threaded one part of it through the bottom part of the, the leaf and then what I do is I get this other part right here and I thread it through here. Oh my gosh, why can't I do this in front of the camera? <laughs> there we go, like that. And I wear it sideways. I slip this through my head and I wear it like this. And I think it's kind of cool. And I do have an Instagram picture. So I, and every time I bring that up and I showcase this, someone goes through my Instagram feed and um, finds it. And they go, oh my gosh, how cute. <laughs> so yeah, I prefer to wear it like this. I mean, I do wear it like this sometimes. I do. But there have been other times where I wear it like that. I've actually been tempted to wear it as a, a bracelet too. 
but it doesn't quite lay like it should because it's not curved. And I'm not going to wear a pendant on my wrist because of the fear of it scratching. But it doesn't look too bad, you know, if I did that. You can't, can't quite see it. If it was a little curved, it'd be perfect, but it's not, so I don't really like to wear it like, I mean, like that. Because you, know you know how I am about, like, keeping my stuff as chip and dent free as possible <laughs> so yes different ways of wearing Pandora <clears throat> what else do I have I have the I forget what's called I think it's called cosmic stars because I've been kind of looking at the matching rings mm, I never really liked the rings that went with this pendant because they're curved on the side and I like flat rings. Um, I forgot, I used to know the term for it. Um, I think they're called pipe, piped or flat. I forget what they're called. Um, there's no way for me to illustrate this either. Is there actually? No. Hold on. Okay, maybe I can use my, one of my wedding bands. So it's probably dirty too. <laughs> so see how the edge of this ring is flat? It's flat. See that? It's not rounded. Well, the matching like bands for this pendant are rounded out, and I feel like they make my fingers look fatter. <laughs> so I've always liked the look of it because of the color and the sparkle and the oxidi oxidation, oxidation, <laughs> oxidation. But I, I don't like the shape of it. But I do have them too. I have I do have both of those rings in my cart right now from Real Law. The the clear and the blue, and I'm kind of like just really iffy on them. Mm. I don't know, maybe if I get like an extra big size, like a 58 to stack, maybe it won't matter that they're rounded and it won't make me feel like I'm fatter fingers, so. Yes, and I do really enjoy this pendant. I have worn it quite a few times. I actually kind of wear it shorter around my neck versus the long chain it comes with. But someone called it a cookie pendant and it turned me off to it I was like I am not wearing a cookie on my neck do you know what I'm saying so now I uh, now all I can see is a cookie <laughs> so I'm trying to take that out of my mind and you know say more looks like maybe like a full moon I mean it's called cosmic stars so I can try to like push myself yeah it's still stars um I like the back of it too I like because it has all cut out so you can like clean it and have a sparkle so that's nice, but it's not a cookie. <laughs> so that kind of ruined it for me a little bit, I gotta say. What are you doing? Oh, what's wrong? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Now we have a, a mess here, a chained mess. Okay, hold on, guys. Uh, okay. The next. I don't remember the name of this. Oh my gosh. I just bought. The matching ring to it. I don't think. Oh no, Forever Blooms. Is that really it? I think so. Yes, I really like this one a lot. It's very springy for me. I love wearing this during the spring. Um, I like it too because it's dark and very vintagey. Has that tons of oxidation on it. Um, it's two tone, which is awesome. And the stones, actually, I'm trying to remember. I think they're. Um, I want to say black spinel, but you know what? I don't recall. In the center of each little, like, gold. Can I get closer? See that? The tiny little center of the flowers with the gold have the little stones. So I think they're black spinels, but I'm not 100% sure. And I don't, I think I got, oh my gosh, where did I get this? I want to say we were a lot, but I don't remember. Probably not, because I got a really good deal on it. I don't remember. And I think... I don't remember if I have a full set now. I think I'm missing a couple pieces. I have the long dangle earrings from Compose. I have the ring now. I have the pendant. I don't think... Oh my gosh. I think there's actually one more pendant. No, I don't have a full set yet. There is one more pendant that... It's really chunky. It's really big and massive. It's really nice. Um, yeah, I think I'm missing a pendant too. And I don't... Oh, maybe the charms too. I don't remember. It's very hard to figure out the matching sets for Pandora. 
Um, I do have that video as a tag from, I think, Fierce's Eye, aka Elizabeth. Um, and I might do that one over again, because I think I may have completed some sets since that video. So, oh my gosh, so it's kind of nice to have, to see how your, your, you know, collection has grown since the video came out. Sorry, everything's getting tangled, so I'm trying not to, you know. <laughs> So this is a very vintage -y Pandora necklace. You guys can probably see the logo. If it would focus, maybe, please. Seriously, not going to focus? <laughs> Sorry, guys. For some reason, I feel like I forgot how to film today. <laughs> there you go. So this is non-crowned Pandora. The hallmark. Um, this is probably from 2006 or 7. I don't remember. Maybe even 2009. I don't recall. I don't know what it's called. I got this off of eBay. It came in two other colors. Pink and like a lime green. This is more like a teal blue kind of. Um, I think I asked, remember asking what this was last year and someone told me and I forgot what it was again. So sorry. Um, it is a heart shape stone. It's probably like Aventurite or Amazonite. It's probably Amazonite, honestly. And then we have this cool little curly thing here. <laughs> and the clasp is here. So you wrap it around your neck and then you clasp it in the front. And then we have some pearls. Uh, topaz, most likely. More pearls. And then, I think there's like a labrador right here. I think that's might be a labrador. It may not be it. I'm not quite sure either. Kind of looks like it, but kind of doesn't. And more pearls. So, pretty different type of necklace. I like to wear this more towards the spring and summer as well. But I don't wear it too, too often either because I'm scared that the pearls will start to fade. Because they are dyed. They're not natural, I think. And if you wear it too often, the pearls will start to lose that color. And I don't know if you could re-dye them. I don't know the process of that. So if someone could tell me, that'd be great. Uh, and then we have, which, Radiant Hearts, I think it's called. Got this for Christmas two years ago. Very sparkly fancy. I think it's kind of an uppity type of pendant. I like it. But I like the fact that you can wear it like more casual. If you want to do more casual, you can wear it this way. Nothing too special about this one. <laughs> Although I do like the circle, the smaller circle that came out. Because that one actually has movement. This one's kind of stuck there. And the echo, actually I wonder if you can change that. Mm. I wonder now if you could make this into a sliding one. Like if a jeweler can like take off the little thingies and then slip a chain through. I get, uh, probably not actually. Who knows? I didn't see what the other one looks like. The smaller one that came, there's a smaller one that came out like... I think last year or earlier this year, I don't remember. It's a smaller circle and it actually like um, it's like a floating pendant and actually like has a chain inside it. So I need to study that to see what it looks like. Uh, what else? Oh, we have oh, I don't remember the name of this. This was part of the gift from Fierce Zai. I think it was for. I can't remember. I know it wasn't for Christmas. It was for our first swap. So, very fitting. She knows I like my stars, so she picked this out for me. Very cute. I like it so much. Um, plus, I like the fact that you can adjust it. So it can be a choker, or it could be mid-length. It could be whatever you want. I love these adjustable chains that Pandora's come out with, let me tell you. Much better than um, the uh, like stations, like this one, where you have this option and this option. It's just better that way because that way you can adjust it to exactly how you want it. And it's just awesome that way. <laughs> we come now to these shimmering. I will say sparkly, but the shimmering rose pendant, which actually I just wore last week. I wore it as a, like, you know, the length, all of length. This is a pretty long chain too. So, oh, and, uh, and is it adjustable as well? It is, but with the little circles, stations. Um, 
yeah. I just talked about this actually not too long ago in another video, how I felt a little bit, like it's a little bit showy and ostentatious, but I like it because it's sparkly. <laughs> it's really pretty, and it's, it's, it's pretty chunky, it's pretty big. But I like how you see the pattern of everything, you know? And I think with this, I, I complete my set there too. Um, but the sets, uh, I think the only thing I'm missing from that set is the clips, which I'm not interested in because I think they're kind of weirdly shaped. So I don't really care for them. Um, next we come to, hopefully I don't get tangled. Oh, too late. Still too soon. Okay, hold on. One of my absolutely favorites, the Stella. Now this is the big Stella. It came out in two sizes, the big and the small. Of course the big came with a huge chain. Again with the different stations so you can change the length. Two-tone with a real diamond. I love it. It's classic Pandora. Still uses real gemstones. Still used um, tarnish or patina to give that, that silver dark finish. And of course the gold. And the matching Stella chains or necklaces. These are supposed to be used as, uh, oh my gosh. It was, I forgot what the line was called because they don't really have closures, they just have this. So you can like layer it or add it to other chains to have like a really nice drapey like um, effect. And I have two of them. And of course with the gold centers. I guess it's too much to use diamonds. <laughs> why aren't you focusing? <laughs> so each little star has a gold center, which is why I like. On both sides too, see? One and two. Alright, that's my 22 minute mark. Um, and I think I will be able to finish this under half an hour, which is awesome. So yes, yeah, so I like layering all these. I forgot what the necklace um, line was called. Like I know that's ring upon ring and then earrings were not composed. The braces are, st are mem no, stories? Stories? No, I don't remember. Oh my gosh. I don't remember. <laughs> and they also had a necklace like way of designing, but I don't remember what they were called. So that's too bad. And since I am talking about the Stellas, let me show you real fast. Oh no. Hold on. Might as well show you the difference in size between the small pendant and the larger pendant. Isn't that crazy? Now, when these first came out, Pandora styled them on like their marketing and advertising campaigns. As you could wear these on the bracelets. Oh my gosh, that would be so awesome. But could you imagine how banged up they would get? That's why I always buy extras, <laughs> so I can wear these as necklaces, and if I get the ones for my prep for bracelets, I'll just, like, let them get banged up. You know, I don't care. <laughs> so maybe that'll be for a future project. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see the difference in size. And I'm very close to finishing this whole set, too, you guys, Estella. I'm very happy with myself. I'm very close to Matt to finishing the entire set. More on that later. <laughs> Next, we come to the Majestic Feather um, Pendant Necklace. Now, I feel like I have trouble styling this one. Like, I love wings and angelic stuff. I haven't really worn this as much as I thought I would. Um, but I'm not willing to part with it yet, just because I love the design. Mm, I think the set for this one, too, I'm missing the earrings. But I think I have everything else. Yes, I have the ring, the charms, both versions of the charms. And the earrings are the only ones that I'm missing. I haven't been able to like pull the trigger on those because I'm not willing to spend 50. And I know they're on rule law right now. I think they're only 35, but I my focus is on other things right now, so it's gonna have to wait. But I do think I want them eventually. And I think my problem with this necklace is I just think it's kind of sparkly. It's kind of like the rose I just showed you. It's kind of, to me, it seems like dressy. 
you know, like a, a nice night out for like a nice black dress. And I just, I don't do that as often as I used to. Um, so I haven't really been able to wear it out, you know, but it's still precious to me. It's still a gift, I think. <laughs> and also comes with the adjustable, so you can make it to a choker if you want or long. Oh my goodness. Next, we come to another traditional Pandora classic, Lariat, which, what's going on with this right here? Why is it all tangled up? Okay, yeah. And I showcased this last year too. Uh, I bought this off of eBay. Carved Rose, which I wouldn't be surprised if it was hand carved because it's Pandora. Again, I don't know the material. Wire wrapped, which you don't see very often anymore. And more of the, those really cool teal pearls. I bet you this was part of a set too. Um, I, I know for a fact actually this had earrings too, matching earrings. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of the Holy Grail pendant. Or no, Holy Grail charm. Um, I forget what it looks like right now. My memory isn't what it used to be. I know it was called Holy Grail. I don't know if it was called Holy Grail by Pandora. Or Holy Grail by Collectors because... I'm not sure why, actually. If someone who knows more about that can, like, educate me, that'd be great. Is it called Holy Grail by Collectors or by Pandora? And why is it called the Holy Grail? <laughs> because of the pearl? I don't know. I know that the pearl, it came with, a, like, a pearl of this color. And it was very, I think it's rare or hard to find or... I don't know, but I know that the pearl lost its color. You know, I know that that's, that was part of it. And, you know, probably... More Pandora has more info on it. I don't know. I have to look it up. But lots of pearls. And I think it has, again, I'm not sure if this is Moonstone or Quartz. I don't know. I'm not sure why my camera is not focusing very well today. Oh, someone's at the door. Lovely. Let's take a quick pause. Sorry about that, guys. Apparently I had a package delivered. <laughs> it wasn't for me, though, by the way. It was for my husband, so I'm like, meh. No beta milk for me. Not yet, at least. Although I am expecting something from Willa. <laughs> okay, so what was I saying? Yes, I don't know what stone these are. I mean, it could, I guess it could be an agate. Or, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know what what's necklace what, what it's called either, but I like the fact that it has no clasp. See, so you can wrap it around your neck, like a lariat. You know what I mean? So it's really cute, very different for me. You know. And this has been my current obsession right now. I think it's a little bit dirty because <laughs> I've been wearing it. Is the tribute pendant? It was a gift from my husband. It says love on one side and blank on the other. So I plan on leaving this part blank and then on this side have it engraved. Do you know what I mean? So I'm really like trying to keep this nice and like polished. Like I don't want scratches or anything. Like I said, it already kind of has just micro scratches just from like the, they, they just from just natural. You just like, you know, I guess it's really hard to have it completely immune to that. But yes, I plan to have it engraved. I'm not sure how well, how yet, but it'll be fun to finally figure that out. And I like that it has a little like oh, I'm trying to hide my hide my face. So you guys don't see me. <laughs> uh, right there has like a little heart cut out. So I think it's a really cute detail. And I do believe that it is retiring, guys. I know I've been really bad about updating the retirement list. I'm so sorry. It just I haven't had time. I promise it hasn't been laziness. It's just between trying to film a lot of videos to have them scheduled while I get my computer repaired and my mom had shoulder surgery so I've been kind of helping her with stuff um, I just haven't had time to vlog so I really apologize to you guys for that but I'm hanging in there I'm still trying to get it done <laughs> alright we're almost done so I'm going to present to you ooh, this lovely piece oh my god you guys now, I don't know if you guys knew about this, but um, I think last year I talked about it when I did this collection last year. Um, I'm trying to think, too. I think I've had a couple editions since last year. The Love Pendant I just showed. Um, the Friendship Star, I think it's called. 
Oh, God, the Shimmering Rose. That's new from last year, I think. And so, was, no, this was old. I think those are the new pieces from last year. Anyways, I talked about how I got this. Um, I think it's off of it was eBay. But it was scuffed. It was all scuffed up and scratched. I'm like, really? Now, see how delicate this pendant is? Look how thin that is. I wasn't sure if it would survive going to the jewelers and have it polished. It did. And it's like brand new now. It's beautiful. No scratches, no scuffs. It's, I guess, like, you know, like when we bought it from the store. The hallmark is still intact. See that? So I feel much more comfortable not wearing it because before I was like, well, it's all scratched up. I don't want to wear it like that. Well, it's been restored to its previous glory. And I will wear it now. However, it does get stored in this baggie <laughs> to keep it nice and pretty. <laughs> and speaking of baggies, I bought this as well. Well, once I found out I was getting retired. Again, haven't really updated that yet, have I? Um, I got this as a tribute to the charm that my sister got me last year for on my birthday. And I really, really love the texture in this, you guys. I don't know why. I just love I think it's because it's old school. Look at that. It just, that makes me happy. <laughs> so I, I want to wear this, you know, and I kind of want to layer it with other pendants, but I'm so scared of getting small little like dings on this part that I'm not going to apologize wear it by itself. And this also gets stored in a baggie. <laughs> I know you guys, I'm so sad. Next, we come to the original Vintage Allure. I have the entire set for this, I believe. I have the charm, the earrings, the pendant, the ring. Uh, I do, I think so, yeah. And this is new, actually. I just realized this is new from last year, too, because I bought this in August of last year, I think. Maybe. So this is making its debut for the necklace collection. Love that. The sparkling bow I've had. Matching earrings, too. And the bangle, thanks to Elizabeth. I didn't get the ring though. I don't really care much for the ring, so I skipped that. Actually, no, I got one version of the ring. Again, once I do my uh, favorites, no, not my favorites, once I do my um, matching sets, I will address that. I got the Midnight, is that what it's called? The Midnight Star? I forget now. I think it is. I just love that gorgeous blue color. Look, it's so pretty. Have that. We already talked about the Stella. I have the Rose Noble Splendor, which I am thinking of parting with. Yeah, I think I'm going to part with this. I don't really wear it very often. Uh, kind of fell out of love with it. I mean, I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence. I just, I hate parting with things because then I feel like I'll regret it. You know, I'll feel like, oh, I, my, you know, I can use it today with my outfit and then I don't have it because I hold it and I get mad. So. Um, and then I have the, I forgot what they're called, I think they're called, is it Love and Guidance, or is it, no, I don't remember, but there are the charms, and I had them made into pendants, because I wanted to pair them up like this, and I also have an Instagram picture of me wearing this like that, so I typically have three of these, I have one on the bracelet and two uh, as pendants, because I really thought this was cute, now, is this the correct way of wearing them? Or is this the correct way of wearing them? I don't know. I feel like they both look correct. <laughs> I don't know though. I feel like I like this is this looks right. But then I feel like this does too? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I had a jeweler have them have them made for me. Just they just got rid of the charm bail and, and um, put the pendant bail on them. So love that. I have my oh gosh, is it called Winter's Kiss? I don't remember anymore. Which is also I think retired, has been retired, or is getting retired. I don't remember. 
And we're going to end with more Pandora Old School, which is a flower pendant. Which I've also been thinking of parting with because I've never really worn it. I bought it because um, it's rare, hard to find, and classic Pandora is one I think... I don't know if that's a real... Not Amethyst. I want to say Alexandra. I don't think so. I need to look it up. It's probably just Cubic Zirconia. But, um... So I don't know if it's supposed to be like a five petal. Is it that supposed to? I don't know if it's a what's it called? A pl not a plumeria. It's the other one, hibiscus. Because if it's a hibiscus, then I might keep it. You know, if it's a hibiscus, then I might actually turn it into a charm instead of wearing it as a pendant. Because I don't wear it as a pendant. It will get banged up though, as a charm. Let me tell you, it will get banged up really bad. But it's, I don't know, if I'm not wearing it as a pendant, maybe I'll wear it as a charm. I think it'll mean more as a charm, so still thinking about that one as well. And that is it, guys. That's my entire necklace collection. It has grown, I have to say. Um, not quite a whole lot. Like I said, I only have maybe one, two, three, four, five. I think I've only gotten five new necklaces and pendants since last year, so not too bad. I still have some on my wish list, so you know. <laughs> I feel like necklaces aren't as popular as charms. I feel like charms are number one, and then rings, and then it's like a kind of a, a toss-up between like non-charm Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot the mo moments. Moments! It's called moments. I remember. I was going to say memories. Moments. So non, because of the charm line, it's called moments for Pandora. So non-moments, brace, like the bangles. I think that's a toss-up between non-moments, bangles, and necklaces, and then earrings. I'm not so sure, though. What do you guys think? Hmm? And that's it, guys. Once again, I appreciate you spending some time with me. I always love sharing my beauties with you guys. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!